I am convinced that everything is a lie. Everything. I'm going to talk about a lot of things in this video. I don't know if any of it's going to make sense, but I have a lot of things that are in this head that I just want to get out. It's about diet mostly. But I have been sitting around doing absolutely nothing now for six weeks, something like that. And yes, I'm aware that I am lucky in that measure. I'm not working two or three jobs to afford a place to have a roof over my head. I understand. But the more I really kind of <clears throat> self-reflect and look into everything that I have believed and that others believe and the comment section believes, I'm like, we're all idiots. We're all like retards out here hitting each other in the face with a retard sandwich and trying to force it down each other's throats. It's ridiculous. It's a fear base. It's, it's, it's nonsense. It's like in all of, all for what? <laughs> all for what? We're talking about like these microplastics and everything being in our food or in the water or in whatever and everything's poisoning us and we need to take supplements for everything because if you take supplements, you know, you have, and we talk about the 70s and how glorious the 70s was and how skinny people were in the 70s and how people didn't have to drink three or four gallons a day of water in the 70s just to survive. Or in the 80s when I was growing up as the only fat kid in my class because nobody was fat. And yet I was the healthy one. Or we talk about having to take massive things out of our diet. When, if we really look at, you know, everybody's like, well, everybody ate nothing but meat back in the day. Right, right. That's why potatoes and rice and corn and all that are thousands of years old. They're a predictable source of uh, food. But everybody, or the, like the oxalates are out to get us. Like, you know, it's, it's like every time people kind of get a clue into how stupid the next diet is. Now, like vegan is not really a diet. It's a mindset. Now, now who's to say, though, that there isn't a karmic balance that has something to do with the, the slaughter of animals. It was a karmic balance back in the, the biblical days. Now, Jesus did say that I was the final... Uh, sacrifice and you don't need to sacrifice anymore. Then you got the Hebrews saying that um, we were only supposed to eat meat until the vegetation grew back and you know we were supposed to go back on our original Genesis 129 diet. Then you got the other people who are like you gotta only drink distilled water because you know something's gonna happen or you gotta go sit in saunas because this is gonna happen. Like where is there saunas in nature? Like yeah it's it's retardedly and if people are offended by the word retarded then just click off you know we we go out into uh the outside and it is so humid out there right now it's ridiculous like i don't normally run the air conditioning so maybe there is a sauna in the sense that if if i was shooting this outside i'd have sweat streaming down me because it is like 92 percent humidity out there right now like you can't even breathe where was I going with any of this? Or, or you got to go to the gym. Or if you don't squat or you don't deadlift, then, you know, this is going to fall apart and this is going to fall apart. Or, you know, you got to uh, abstain from eating this. You know, I actually accidentally had meat the other day. I was at my parents' house and I'm like, I am so sick of doing this high carb, no fat whatsoever, can't have anything what the fuck do I care? I'm probably going to outlast unless something stupid happens. Most people, I feel like, just because, I don't know. I predicted it when I was in third grade. We'll see if it's right. If it's not, whatever. I'm not attached to this place in any way, shape, or form. We are in a dome, flat earth. It's even in the Bible. tells us in the Bible how the earth is built. There's no globe. Reptilian overlords watching us every move. Like I'm, I'm on a camera, but I'm sure there's some kind of version of this camera somewhere that they're watching me. Watch them. Watch. You know, it's it's ridiculous. And the one thing that I do know is, no matter how many microplastics you might get, no matter how many I don't know what oxalates or whatever, whatever it is, whatever th whatever thing you're terrified of, no matter how many of those things that you have in you, guess what? They're going to be in you when you die. 
and you're not going to be here anymore. So while you're here, stop worrying about what you like. The, the, like people are terrified to even like have tap water. In like I mean, it's it's ridiculous what we're going through now. If you have poisoned water in your you know like I don't know they're making some crazy concoction down the down this you know whatever from you and it's leaching into the water that's one thing but the rest of this yes there's fluoride probably in your water yes there's everything in your water you're all gonna die we're all gonna die like we're all gonna die and like how much of this fear do you really want to go through while you're here i mean think about these people that watch this, these people that create this must absolutely have like the joy of it. I mean, it's sick, but they got to be watching us peons over here. Like this one's taking all these pharmaceuticals to do absolutely nothing. They're peeing it out. It's going into the system and another person's getting it anyways. And this one's trying to filter it out, but it's going to go through it anyways. And then we're trying to... <laughs> We're trying to like filter out all of this stuff using plastic. It's a plastic membrane to, for reverse osmosis. <laughs> like, and then it's stored in plastic anyways. It's going through plastic tubes to get into your plastic bottle that you're drinking out of. And everybody's like, well, it's BPA free. Have you really looked into BPA free? Come on. Come on. The BPA free is is it's another play on words. It's another, it's kind of like when they say, well. Sugar feeds cancer, so you shouldn't have any sugar. Sugar feeds every cell of the body. They re they neglect to tell you that. So that they're like, oh, I can't have sugar now. Oatmeal is going to kill me. That oatmeal over there, the oxalates and that oatmeal are going to give me cancer. Watch out for it. Meanwhile, every cell in the body runs off of carbohydrates, 90%. Mitochondria, like 90%. Carbohydrates, a little bit of fat. No protein whatsoever. So the people who are like, oh, I get so much uh, I get so much energy off protein, you are lying to yourself and everybody else. Go ahead, comment on it. T tell, tell everybody about how much uh, energy you get off eating protein. It doesn't even make sense at all. It, it, like chemically, it makes no sense at all. It, and I, I can't, I, I almost can't even wait for the comment section on this video, but it's just like, what are we doing? Think of, like, we want to reference the 70s and 80s, at least I do, because, like, the 80s was great and everything else. Like, the mid-90s was all right, and it has been shit since then. It, this is even one of the symbols, right? It's just, what are we doing? We are, and then, and then to make everybody stupider, and here's the reason that I haven't really been dead. I had a woman yesterday try to give me her number. She was pretty. But I'm like, I'm seeing she's got like sports uh, par paraphernalia and I'm, I don't want another sports watching, drinking person in my life. I have, people are so blindsided or, or blinded by like watching or go watch sports, have a drink, blah, blah, blah. It's ridiculous. These, and then they own this stuff like, oh, we lost today. You didn't do anything. You watched somebody else play with a ball and get paid millions of dollars. You just sat, sat and got fat or drinking your, your uh, beer and your you know potato chips on the couch. You could have done something else. I mean, it's ironic because roles are completely reversed in, in my immediate family. My dad and I couldn't care less about sports. And my mother and my sister are the ones who watch sports. My sister has actually paid off her student loans and most of her house with, uh, like, uh, you know, the, the, the fantasy football. So at least she got something out of it. If you're doing that, congratulations. I don't give a shit. I don't even know what their record is. I don't care. I don't care. People could give me tickets to this. I'm like, what? No, go give them to somebody else. I don't care. Yes, I, I used to go watch Jordan and all, all that and all, all that. It was just uh, mystical to watch this dude. It was just so much better than everybody else. What are we doing? Like, think about how many great conversations you could have. I'm. There's two screens right here. There's a screen right here. Can you imagine if these screens didn't exist and you actually had to talk to people? And, like, I congratulate that woman yesterday for trying to give me her number because at least she had the balls to do it. But I'm like, no, 
I'm just like this year has been so fucked. I, I, I don't even want to see another train wreck. I guess I'm damaged goods, but like, I, I like what, like, and I was listening to another podcast by the strong sisters and, and like, and I'm like, where did they find these people? This woman's talking about all this great stuff, like about how filtered water is so bad for us. Like we like think of everything is anything in nature purified or clean. Nothing. Visualize what the the uh, nature looks like during the fall. There's leaves everywhere. Does it try to clean them up? No. Are they getting in the water? Are they getting everywhere? Does nature try to clean it? Yeah, of course it's windy. That's just to get the leaves off the tree. They're everywhere. And if you want to call me nuts for this video, congratulations. If you want to make like uh, you know, a reaction video, have fun with it. I don't you know, like and then I'm watching these other these reaction videos. I'm like, you're just a peon. Like the rest of us. Trying to feed people retard sandwiches, trying to get them to do your thing. You know, the one thing I've never done on this channel. Other than like the Patreon, which I think I even shut down, is charge anybody for anything. I'm not selling you anything. I don't care. Maybe I should have. I don't know. I, I, if you really get a chance, if you get a chance, right? If you get the chance, I'm lucky. I, I realize that. To just sit around like that movie, The Office or whatever, Office Space, maybe Office Space, where he's like, if I won the lottery or whatever, I would sit and do nothing. And I pretty much have for like six weeks. And ironically, I've lost weight. You really start to see how ridiculous this rat race is that we're in and people adopting it. Like no pain, no gain, or like you got to go through detox real heavy. You got to take these things over here to do this. And you got to do this over here to do this. Like get off of it, man. Like there was no supplements. Like nobody took supplements when I was growing up and everybody lived. They all died too. And guess what? When they died, the microplastics and everything else that was in the environment was in their body. They didn't take it with them. You don't own it. You don't own this thing. It was given to you for free. And everybody wants to look so pretty and all that kind of stuff. For what? Of course you're going to look pretty. You know, like everybody wants to look pretty. Everybody wants to be desirable. And then you see the dating these days. Like, what do you need to be pretty for? Just to, like, it's a, like, it's like ridiculous. And then we strip all of the minerals out of our water in the hopes of getting rid of the petrochemicals and the hormones and all the other bullshit. Meanwhile, we're going to eat Doritos over here. Like that's not causing the issue. Most of the issue, think of, uh, think of what you would eat. If you could eat things that only had like one ingredient in it, right? You like lately I've been baking all my own bread and I'm using flour that only has one ingredient. Maybe it has glyphosate in it. What are you going to do? Some of it's organic. Some of it's not. And what would you eat? What would you eat if you could not have something out of the middle aisle of the grocery store? Other than condiments, you know, I'm a condiment freak. What would it be? Even, even like maybe make your own ketchup and stuff like that. We need to really get back to that. Your health would return. If you stop trying to filter everything out of your life, how much filtration do you think you're going to do? And then you walk outside... And outside, it's pouring off you anyway. Do you think this stuff's not in the environment? We're in a dome. Where do you think it's going? We're a science project. We're an experiment. Where do you think all this stuff is going? Where? I mean, honestly, think about the, where, where is this. Where's it going to go? So it's in the environment. You're not avoiding any of it. So you spend like however many thousands of dollars on filtration that's using plastic for the most part. There's some that use like metals. And it's not returning any of the mineralization into the system. So you're removing all the minerals and, you, and everybody's like, well, you know, and then, and then the carnivores are like, well, we got to eat, you know, like 
like our ancestors did. Your ancestors didn't have filtered water. They didn't have stuff on the tub on a, on a tree. They didn't take some protein powder off a tree and have that stuff. No, it's not it, like it's not a thing. Think about how ridiculous you sound. And I'm not any different than any of you. I've been serving retard sandwiches the whole time I've had this channel. But the reason I haven't had a charge for anything is because I honestly don't know if I believe anything I said. Because I lost the weight. Yeah, I was vegan, raw vegan. But I was not listening to anybody. I don't give a shit what Darian Ryder. I mean, I don't look, I honestly look at the, like, I am like three years different than he is. Look at the age different looking. It's ridiculous. I, I, I don't want to look like that. So I wasn't listening to him and I wasn't listening really to Dan and the man. Cause the guy's nuts. I sound nuts right now. Maybe I'm just as nuts as the rest of them, but I don't want that. So I was just eating whatever the fuck I wanted to eat. And I was losing weight like crazy. I was losing weight so much that I actually had to add like four or five avocados into my diet a day, which they were only like 10 to 20 cents a piece back then. And now it's another craze. You know, I don't know if it's still a craze, but somebody talks about like avocados are the key to, to longer life. You got this other guy spending $2 million a year on supplements just to live longer. For what? You're still leaving here. What do you, I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like what? I, I seriously, like I watch this. I'm like, these people are fucking morons. Instead of just enjoying your life for however long it was. Like one of my almost heroes is my uncle. I was going to say his name, but I don't want to. This dude lived life like you would not believe. Would not believe this guy just lived life. He had a, him and his wife. They were together. They were together since... Uh, I think she they were they were 16 or 17 didn't separate never I mean I, I've never seen happier people did whatever they wanted to do he he built his own house out in the uh, we're all city people he he went out to the, like the way out there and built his own house he cut the trees down used the trees to build his house did whatever the hell he wanted to do dude dropped dead at 40 my age he had a smile on his face now it sucks for my aunt because she has been a shell of a human ever since he passed. She, she doesn't, she exists, but that's about it. She, I mean, I guarantee if somebody's like, you know, <laughs> I don't even want to go there. Like he didn't care. And he was, he was the most in shape of all of us. Like of all the aunts and uncles and all that. I mean, he was the most in shape. Yeah. I mean, he, he did, um, he did machine shop work. So he did a lot of physical labor, but. Uh, like, what are we doing? Why are we filtering all this stuff? Like, what are you filtering anyways? It's in plastic. Your filter is plastic. You think you're filtering your water of microplastics using plastic. And yeah, it might be charcoal and all that other stuff, but it's still housed in plastic. And then you can get your little Berkey system and, and stuff like that for what? Like, yeah, Berkey might be good for, like, if there's, like, a war effort or something, like, going on. And all the water is corrupted and you got to go down to, like, a, a dirty-ass source of water and it'll filter that out. <laughs> I mean, the other day, the other day, actually, this was probably two months ago already. I was out riding my bike. I ran out of water. And why am I so dehydrated in the first place? I'm drinking reverse osmosis. It's supposed to be good for you, right? No minerals whatsoever. Your body needs minerals to survive. And it's it's funny when you start getting minerals and all that kind of stuff, how everything kind of just starts curing itself because the body knows how to do that. Like It's like, this is the thing. And this is another thing that people don't understand is when you, and I'm not advocate for fasting, but the body heals itself when you're fasting. So clearly it didn't need the food that you were giving it. It can heal itself. But if it doesn't have enough energy, it can't do anything. And if you're feeding it all this stuff in the middle aisle, which is fine once in a while, but whatever, man. Like it, it just it can't it can't operate like that. So anyway, I'm I'm out riding my bike the other day, drinking all, all the other day, like two months ago, drinking this water, <laughs> and I ran out because somehow I'm stupid dehydrated, even though I had probably two gallons before this ride, 
And I stopped at the local bike shop because I had the, had the one of the pins on my bike broke or the bolt on my bike broke. And um, <clears throat> I said, you got any water? He's like, yeah, we got, you know, municipal water. And it was great. I didn't die. I'm still here. Was there fluoride in it? I have no idea. Did I think about it? No, I just drank it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if you didn't even know about this stuff? Where you would be? And, and like, and I, I, I grant you, most of the food that is served in America is banned in all other countries. So there is something to be said for watching out for what you eat in this country. And that goes back to like, Eat around, the, you know, like eat around the perimeter. There's only so much you can do. If you want to live here, there's only so much you can do before you become a psychopath. Like, like I sound in this video, but like it, like wh how far do you want to take it? And how much of your life are you missing out on when you do it? How much? What's it worth to you? <laughs> Like, you know, like in an economic sense, how much is your time worth to you? How much of your time do you want to lose? How much perceived time or perceived effort do you want to lose in an effort to get to where you want to go? And most people never get there. Most people never get there. Because they get tired of the battle. Because it doesn't need to be a battle. Most things that are, are worth having in life are pretty effortless. They just, they happen. It's just like, you know, there's a Bible behind me. It's just, it talks about this. Like, it just happens. People want to fight for it. And people want to fight to be here longer for, I have no idea what reason. This place is hell. Like, how long, how long do you want to put up, you know, and, and they call it a fight too. Like, I'm fighting cancer. I'm fighting this. Why? What caused it? The fear of everything, you know, I don't know. That's just my perspective right now, but <clears throat> I've never sold anything on this channel other than zero shoes and what else and, and seller sizer. Cause I don't think we actually even have an immune system. What's an immune system? It's our lymphatic system. So if you keep your lymphatic system clear, your body mineralized, your body fed, what's it going to do? It's going to operate like it did when you're talking about like in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And in the 40s, 3,540 calories was considered normal. Now I'm, I'm like watching these. I don't know why because the videos suck. But I was watching like Eddie Hall and like uh, like his wife or whatever swap diets. I'm like, this chick is trying to eat 1,200 calories a day, and she's like almost six foot tall. I can only imagine what she's like to to, to, to deal with. <sighs> I'm living on coffee. Mm. Anyway. I mean, really, just, I mean, if you get the chance, if you get the chance, be an observer, watch everything that's going on. And I don't know if it's like that in other countries. I really don't. I'm only here in America. But, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about it. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Everybody's so scared of everything. And I saw this uh, thing the other day where... Um, they were trying to, they were, they laid down these three water bowls filled with water and one was tap water, one was reverse osmosis and one was distilled. And I don't remember where it was and no, I'm not going to link it. Go find it. Um, and every single animal went to the tap water, every single one. And when they took the tap water away, they wouldn't drink. That should tell you a lot. <clears throat> anyway, 
I mean, really look, really look at what what has happened. They talk about vitamin, you know, you know, that we need vitamin D, but then they have you put sunblock on, which gets you, it stops you from having vitamin D. They're spraying this guy with whatever to block vitamin D. Then, and then the cancer goes up like crazy. Everything goes up like crazy. They tell you to filter your water because of the microplastics that they're putting in everything. And then they're selling that to you. They're selling you the supplements that are to, uh, to undo everything that they've given you. And then they take away your normal movement patterns. We're walkers. We walk. So they take that away from you. They have you sit in an office job or in your house now staring at, you know, a camera like this being monitored even more. And then they sell you a gym membership. And people are like, oh, okay, I'll do that. And then I'll go watch sports people, millionaires playing with balls. I can play with balls for free. And playing some sport to like uh, bring up a score. Who the fuck cares? Like, I, I like what, what are we like? Why are we watching a bunch of dudes playing with balls? And now we got like dudes going into women's, uh, you know, bathrooms with the same balls, like, 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 and everybody's like, oh, that's fine. That's normal. Or like, let's have them play in, in women's sports. Cause like the women didn't spend their entire life trying to, you know, achieve this. Like if you're in the sport, commend you hundred percent. If you're watching the sport and you don't really have anything to do with the sport, I don't know. You know, I mean, everybody needs uh, 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 observers, but like to have your entire life around it or to, to be depressed the next day or that day because somebody lost, like you had nothing to do with it. You just were sitting on a couch watching people. What, how does it affect you? And the craziest part is the people who lost the game are probably not even caring about it at all. So anyway, this fair base bullshit. This is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I think it'd be even funnier if I put like a sales ad for a water filter at the end of this. Go check out Zero Shoes. That's the only reason I like Zero Shoes is because it gets us back to where we're supposed to be. We're not uh, the, the human foot is not supposed to have a bunch of padding underneath of it. Can you, oh, well, the 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 the, the sidewalks. Really? Have you ever walked out in nature with all the thorns, bushes, and, and shale rocks that are sharp everywhere? Please. Anyway. I think that's it. I think I'll get off my soapbox, which is probably filled with microplastics. Think about it. I mean, you, this body, this meat suit that you're watching right now, if you've made it this far, is not is, is going to not be here at some point. And everything that I consumed is going to be with it. You don't take it with you. So leave it where it is. It's here. And you're not. You're not from here. So stop worrying about all this stuff that is here because it's not you. It has nothing to do with you. Now, of course... Uh, you know, nobody needs to be in pain, but they, I mean, oh my gosh, nobody, nobody took pharmaceutical stuff when I was growing up, even when they were older, they just died. Can you imagine? And they died older and had no like real diseases than people now. And everybody's like, well, the life expectancy is so, so great now. You are a vegetable taking 42 pills a day in a hospital, staring at people playing with balls who are millionaires that's your new life on these pharmaceuticals congratulations and i'm not saying to live like that i'm saying don't eat this stuff eat real food eat things that have like one ingredient in it because you made it you know like flour and water and, and everything to make your own stuff instead of playing with ball or watching people playing with balls why don't you make your own food and stop filtering your water and see what happens can you imagine how much more intelligent people would be if they weren't blocked with all these, you know, pharmaceuticals that they're taking just to try to, you know, do whatever and how diseases would go away and these pharmaceuticals wouldn't exist anymore and it wouldn't be in our water anymore? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that world, right? It, this world, I'm sure, does exist in people who, uh, you know, don't have any outside world connections. Think about the chain of events. If you made your own food 
and you stop watching people playing with, you know, balls and play with your own with somebody else, can you imagine how much better this world would be than people sitting around caring for whatever reason about the score of a, a, a game? Can you imagine, like, you are making your own food, doing it with your family, not sexually, like baking food with your own family, and just have this, like, community. You didn't kick everybody out when they were 18 or whatever. Like, there was community. And when somebody got married, they might leave the house or whatever. Like, can you imagine? They wouldn't be able to control us, but they can control us now because you're staring at a screen watching my video <laughs> and, and like eating all these packaged foods that have nothing but toxic sludge in it. And I guess that's my fear based thing. But uh, can you imagine not having any of that? And you vote with your dollars. So you stop buying that stuff. So it, that isn't made anymore because you know the only thing that the world cares about is money and you vote with your dollar this stuff goes away you don't need anything anymore and you're intelligent again i mean think about how smart kids are and then you put them in school and how stupid they are when they they graduate and it's even crazier to watch we were doing more advanced math when i was in kindergarten and these people are in like high school these days i'm like you guys are idiots when I was working at the post office, I couldn't even figure out how to like put an address on. A, like, what are you? You know, uh, it's just oh, this is nuts. It's nuts, and everybody's just like, whoa. And this is how we get all these transgender bullshit. And if you're transgender and if you're for that, I, you know, that's just demonic to me, and I am not for it at all, at all. I have nothing to do with it. If you want sympathy from me, it's not going to happen. I don't care. <clears throat> Ugh. I think that's it. I could go on. I'm probably going to make more videos about this. This might actually be what my channel is. But what would you eat? I don't even. I couldn't even answer that question myself. What I would eat. I'm so brainwashed by all these high carbers at this point. They're like, what would I actually eat? Like when I just ate and I didn't watch YouTube. And I was watching people playing with balls and millionaires. But at least I kind of just ate my own thing. I really didn't care. And I lost weight like crazy. I didn't lose weight on keto because what do you cut out on keto? Your main source of energy. Carbohydrates. How stupid are you? Or my, me for doing it. And everybody's like, well, you got to live in carnivore. Okay. That makes sense. That's why carbohydrates exist because we're supposed to live, you know, or that's why hypoglycemia uh, exists. Make that make sense. Mm. Anyway, that's the video. I have, I have more to say, but I mean, go an entire weekend without watching sports. What do you do? What do you do? <clears throat> You might actually have to live. Imagine that. Anyway, that is the video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Uh, comments, questions. I'm sure they're going to be beautiful. Like always. Anyway, see you in the next one.